So, Bentor Grids was one of the most hyped and trendy web designs in 2023 and that actually comes all back to the apple event when they first you know introduced a couple of products and they show those products in a bento grid and it was like the really nice design with like grids going inside of each other but they have the same layout and that made things look really really good and actually a lot of people started actually creating stuff using that bento grids they started actually putting designs, changing their landing pages to use more of like that bento grid sort of style. And things actually started to get really, really nice and trendy. And we saw tons and tons of websites doing that in a really nice way. So in my opinion, it's one of the trendiest stuff in web design in 2023. And it pretty much is gonna continue to 2024 as well, because it really, really looks super, super nice. So if you look back at the Apple event, the latest Apple event, releasing the iPhone 15, everything, and they actually used this Bento Grace design to showcase all the features and what was released on the iPhone 15 from the processor, like the A17 Pro to USB-C to next-gen gaming and everything. And as you can see in here, it like it has a one single layout so like there is being put in sort of like the same width and height like everything in here has the same dimensions but inside of that kind of like rectangle it has actually a bunch of stuff and each one is taking like a different shape a different width and height within a certain limits which of course, this is basically just a grid, but a grid with different sort of width and height constraints. It actually built this really, really nice and it makes it look super, super good. So if you've basically seen that design trend anywhere around the internet, yes, if you don't know what it's called, it's called the Bento Grids. So one of the landing pages or website that actually really use Bento Grids to its best is Linear. So Linear is doing like really great right now with its landing page design. A lot of people are loving landing page design, including me. So if you scroll a little bit down right over here, you're going to find this really nice Bento Grid in here. Uh, they basically like, you know, have a small title in here, a small sort of like grayed out description that looks pretty sick. And it's scrolling down a little bit in here, you're gonna find the Bento Grid in here that has a lot of animations going inside of it. And each box is basically doing something completely different compared to the other. So like, for example, this is a lightning string, this is a keyboard, maybe this is like, you know, a command pod. It actually is interactive. This is actually what makes it super nice because everything inside of the box in here makes things look really interactive. You can actually go ahead and type stuff in here. For example, oh, I want urgent and it works perfectly. Uh, for example, this one, oh, you can you can go ahead and see it has a really nice title as well and a description. And it always like has this really neon things. And if you notice the Bintro grids in here, it, it makes them look really good and actually like showcases the real features like linear and what it provides and the products actually it provides and, and basically what are the pros of it. So they really know how to use Bintro grids. I mean, the whole design of the website is, is really sick and really good. They actually used it in here, but I think it's more of normal grids, but still it really is super nice. They actually did a great job designing this and actually implementing it. Another cool website in here that actually used Pinter grids that I actually discovered a while back ago on like, I don't know, uh, May or something. It was the Mag Magician or like the diagram company behind Magician, which is an AI plugin for Figma. So if you scroll down a little bit and you're going to find Pinter grids and each grid, each box in here is animated. So like whenever you move the mouse inside, it's like interactive. So it allows you to move the mouse inside of this one and it makes things really smooth. So for example, you move the mouse inside of here, uh, maybe this one. Actually, it really follows the mouse and everything, so it looks really, really sick. Like in here, it makes it look really nice. Like with each box in here has a different width and height compared to the others, but they all align within like the same limits in here. So they don't they don't like cross borders or something. And the same thing in here, it just looks really nice and everything is super, super interactive. It's crazy. You click on the mouse, everything works magically. For example, the book in here, uh, the Figma design, everything. Or maybe for the Chronicles website in here that does something really cool like this, use a Bento Grids, but use it in a completely completely different way, but still Bento Grids are making it look really sick as well. I mean, there's endless of designs that are using Bento Grids right now. That's why it's trendy. That's why a lot of people are loving it. For example, the GitHub Copilot in here is using Bento Grids in here. They are very huge Bento Grids, but still Bento Grids, and it makes it look really nice. As you can see in here, uh, it, it really is like super smooth. And I like the color, you know, palette that matches the Copilot sort of theme. Or if you want to inspire from Bento Grids and you want to actually design a Bento Grid, but you don't know exactly where to start from, there's a nice website called Bento Grids in here that actually has 
at different venture grace designs and websites so it's going to give you a lot of inspiration from like the apple events in here with venture grace like for example the a16 to basically um you know diagram what we've like what we're just seeing right now and all the different websites and designs that are actually utilizing venture grace to make things look really really cool and smooth and of course you can go in and click like visit source in here it's going to take you to, to the main source of the website actually doing that and it can inspire a lot from this and yesterday when i was going through twitter i saw like this tweet and pretty much a lot of people are actually interested in this one it's like oh landing pages don't have to be purple because we've seen that trendy purple landing page with some like vibe of, of neon or something and one of them actually just like you know replied with you know anything in here any website you can fix it with doing a bento box or a bento grid basically black plus purple gradients or the inter funds and that's actually true bento bento boxes or bento grids make things really nice i actually won't lie about that because i really really like them and in fact i actually redesigned my own website to use bento grids to make the website looks somewhat trendy. So I went through to my book landing page, the new book that is actually going to be released really soon. And I tried to actually introduce bench grids into the design. For example, when you see oh, elevate your react skills, a nice description in here. And right beneath it, there is the really nice bench grids with some animations. Like if you move the mouse in here, there's some animations going on. It's not complete yet because it takes a tremendous amount of time to actually work on that and actually finish it up and get, come up with all the designs and the ideas. But the idea is like venture guys in here excuse in here like this is how the design looks like right now and it makes things look super smooth so like clearly here i uh, know more fuzzy code quality code promoted and each one is actually taking a different sort of width compared to the other ones they all have the same height but they have different widths in here for example in here this one has like an equal width between the two columns in here but the other ones have the different ones and it makes it look really smooth and excuse me you can have different things inside of that one for example interactive stuff animated in here with Thing, like the mouse gestures and i won't lie to you i really really like this design trend and if you compare it to the previous design before i do pinter grids this is actually what it looked like like i only had a small cars in here that are somewhat animated in here they look pretty cool and everything but of course if you compare it to bento grids it's a completely different story so of course when i started doing the bento grids in here i went through i designed everything in figma and it was actually pretty simple and all i did in here is actually brought a couple of grids in here put them in the same height as i said before and they all have the same width and they end up like in the same position as everything in here but of course you can have and introduce different columns for example the middle column here is bigger than two side columns for example this one is bigger than the other one but they all have the same width in here and for example the last one you're actually taking the whole space and this is actually what it looks like for example like oh you know no more fuzzy or true fine code uh refactory and blind folder that's just in here like have them really nice i have like the design by having just implemented it in the react code in there and i want of course all of this like to be animated so whenever the mouse enters in gonna be like some really smooth and nice animation going on so there will be a lot of stuff cool and the bench grids in here are making it look really, really nice. So the grids in here and the different sizes of different grids and the columns inside of that grid, it just makes it so, so nice. And I think this conveys more sort of like a better user experience and it's gonna actually lead to a better user conversion if you're like having it in a landing page and you want people to sign up for your service or, you know, subscription or something. This is actually gonna help a lot. As I've seen some case studies out there and blogs talking about this, they actually made a lot of huge conversion rate just by converting and adding some cool designs in here and including and using some bench grids as we did in here. And when it comes to React, it's actually pretty, pretty easy to do bench grids. For example, you can take this simple example in here with Tailwind CSS or you can just normal CSS. So here, the container, like the grid container in here, all it does actually uses grid layouts and it actually does auto rows. So like the rows in here are gonna be automatically adjusted, but of course you're gonna give it a minimum height of the row. So like 450 pixels for me. And the columns right now, so you do grid columns, like what is the number of columns you're gonna have inside of that grid? So I'm saying, oh, the number of columns, I want three, and I want like a gap of five between each column and each row. And of course, when I render that, for example, I have seven columns I wanna render inside of this one. So I can just simply render a normal div in here and with the CSS in here you do a oh, row span so we want to only take a one span of a row so we want to take like two or something and the most important part of course is the column span in here so for example for this one we check oh if it's three or six we do two column span otherwise we just because this one is going to be like default into one column span like this so for anything other than like when i is six or i is three we're just going to have like one it's just pretty simple of course you can 
customize it however you want. So if we go back to the design, this is actually what it looks like. Really nice grid design in here. This one is like taken bigger than the other one. The other one is taken another bigger in here. And it makes the cards look really smooth as you see in here. This is as simple as that. You can have a Binter grid ready for you. So yes, Binter grid is for the win. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and actually design that, complete the design. And as I said before, if you ever need inspiration, this is the Binter grids website. It really provides a nice inspiration to do Binter grids. And in my opinion, this trendy design is actually gonna continue not only on 2023, but it's actually gonna continue to 2024 and conquer 2024 design trends because it looks really smooth and people are still loving that design and, and landing pages actually always trying to create a design sort of like that and actually integrating Pinterest grids with their landing pages design. So yeah, it does really, really look super, super sick. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope to catch you all in another Bento grid.